What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Atlanta starting the video on the rooftop patio with the sweet view of the city right there If you're new here, my name is David and I moved to Atlanta in June of 2021 So already about two and a half years ago I moved here for two reasons the first reason being I want to reinvent myself Just start a whole new life meet new people do new things and explore new places And the second reason was I want to experience that big city life that big city living that I didn't get to growing up in the suburbs of Ohio and this kind me thinking recently man ever since I moved here I think my personality and who I am as a person has changed a lot certain parts of my personality have changed for the better that I absolutely love I think moving to Atlanta was one of the very best decisions I made for my personal development but on the other hand I think living here has also changed certain parts of my personality not for the better for the worse and there's certain parts that I honestly don't like about myself and I'm not that proud of so today we're gonna break down all of that All right, if I had to describe myself in a couple sentences, I would say I'm a hardworking dude who likes to be spontaneous and try new things, and I'm also very self-motivated. But I actually don't like to talk as much as it seems like I do on YouTube. I think I come across as pretty outgoing and extroverted. In reality, I think I am outgoing, but I am pretty introverted, and at the same time, I also have a second side to myself that can come across as a bit of an asshole. I can absolutely be an asshole sometimes. I am not the nicest person on the planet. If you ask any of my friends or my girlfriend, and I'll ask Skylar later in this video, she'll say yeah absolutely I can be uh, an asshole sometimes so the first part of how I describe myself I give Atlanta a ton of credit of teaching me how to be self-confident to work hard to hustle and to achieve my goals Atlanta this city is a city of hustlers everyone I met here is trying to level up their bank accounts their social media following get the next promotion at work make themselves fitter and stronger in the gym whatever the case may be everyone here at least the people I've met and associate myself with we're all part of that self-improvement journey I absolutely love that it's a young it's a vibrant city here high energy like anyone who wakes up with no goals anyone who wakes up with little motivation to go out there and take on the day it's just they're not gonna last here and that's the reality so living here I've learned how to be self-motivated I've learned how to rely on myself to get shit done when I quit my job I moved here to do which was a huge risk at the time I mean we're in the middle of a silent recession that was a huge risk I took but I knew that it was something that I would enjoy more my job I moved here to do I knew I was not meant to do so I took the risk and fortunately because I've worked my butt off at the new job it's paid off financially I've dramatically increased my income from it making these YouTube videos isn't easy it's very time-consuming and they're usually difficult it takes a full day for me to film and a full day for me to edit and because I just don't sit in front of the camera one spot and talk for 10 minutes I got to be creative and that adds just a bunch of stress to it but because I am committed to posting a video every single Monday and for new here I post every single Monday I crank it out and get it done regardless as a natural side effect I'm much more confident and outgoing and motivated when I wake up every single morning than I was before I moved here I think I used to be very lazy I would just go to school come back and play video games and eat a bunch of Oreos I mean I still like Oreos but at least I'm doing more stuff on the side and overall I just didn't have that much confidence and motivation to do anything else in my life so if you got high energy and high ambition this city is the place to be on the track man get it back man in the fast lane with my feet up remember bad days when no cash came check the bag man see the real never bought me always fresh had to get it off the reps now I'm on a trip with my little ones keep it coming we the best I can never look a mess I impressed and I watch the paper still come all right the second way I changed for the better living in Atlanta is that being in the city has allowed me to think freely in this city I've quite literally ran into every single kind of person period like every single kind of person that's out there some in the world I ran into them here in Atlanta I've met people of literally every single race I've met people of literally every single political view I've met people of literally every single religion I've met people from various parts from around the world let alone the country I've even met some people here who work jobs that I've never even heard of I mean I, that's one of the stereotypes I recently came across about Atlanta where some of the jobs that people work here are, are kind of sketched like some of them probably aren't even real but because of that all this has forced me and I say forced in a good way to think freely growing up in the suburbs of Ohio I thought about every sensitive major topic that you know people usually don't like talking about as 
specific way, given that's the environment I grew up in. Ever since moving to Atlanta, I've changed that. So let me give you some examples. Uh, when it comes to religion, I am a Christian. As you can see, I wear a cross necklace in most of my videos. I grew up Lutheran, which is a specific part of Christian. If you don't know, it's, you know, it's kind of like Catholic, but not really. You get what I'm trying to say. I grew up Lutheran, went to private Lutheran schools, quite literally from preschool up through college. Ever since moving to Atlanta, I am still absolutely 100% Christian, but now I consider myself non-denominational, which means I don't specifically associate myself with Lutheranism anymore. I'm a Christian, but I'm open. Like, I'm, I'm cool with anything. Another example, when it comes to politics, and by the way, we're chilling in beautiful Decatur right now, about to hit up a new pizza spot right after this, give a little taste test. But I hate talking about politics, especially on YouTube, there's absolutely no point. But to get my point across, I think before I moved here, I leaned pretty heavily towards one way, like almost all the way. But ever since I moved here and I've experienced the city and I've started thinking more freely, I think I've definitely gone at least a couple steps more towards the middle on, on certain specific topics. When I first moved here, my job, I worked for an accounting firm in, in their corporate tax department. And I did that because that's what my dad did growing up. And I thought for my career, it might just make sense if I kind of did what he did. But ever since moving here and being able to think more freely, I realized absolutely not. I hated being an accountant. My, 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 my life sucked every single day. I was not enjoying any aspect of it. I realized that's not what I wanted to do. So I quit it, started doing something else, and it's been night and day. I absolutely love what I do now. My mindset about literally everything you can think of, every major topic that the world is talking about right now, my opinion on that has changed since I moved here, at least a little bit, and I consider that to be a good thing. Leaving my hometown, moving to Atlanta, and forcing myself into the middle of it, literally living downtown, has allowed me to think freely about everything and make my own decisions. All right, so you know what's about to go down? We're about to try out some Glide Pizza. This has been recommended to me over and over and over again by my dudes George and Carson here. For well over a year, they claim it's one of the best spots in Atlanta, but I will try that out for myself right now. Taste test, let's go. It's solid, it's solid for sure. I think it's a little thin for what I usually preference, but it's solid. 8.4 out of 10. Not the best, but it's pretty freaking good. Babe, wait up, not built for this. I got a question. Can I be an asshole sometimes? Yes. I told you. Let me explain. So in all honesty, I don't think most of the people living in Atlanta are as truly happy as people anywhere else. Like for example, I have a buddy that lived in Atlanta last year, then he moved to Jacksonville, Florida. And he said it's clear as day how much happier people are in Jacksonville than Atlanta. We went to South Carolina about three weeks ago. We've been to Tennessee more times than we can count. We went to Nashville specifically about a month and a half ago. And same thing, I don't know what it is, but you can just sense it that the people are just way happier than most of the people I've come across here in Atlanta. There is so much hustle and grinding here, like I mentioned at the start. As a result of that, people are always in competition with each other. Who can have more Instagram followers? Who can have more YouTube subscribers? Who can make more money? There's so much noise all the time throughout the city. There's so much traffic 24 seven. They say like Friday rush hour starts on Thursday, even like 10.30 PM on a Sunday, you're still going 15 miles an hour down I-75. Like where's everyone going? There's so much crime nowadays. You see on the news, there's two shootings every single day somewhere around the city. The list goes on and on and on of these factors that piss people off, make people anxious, make people stressed. That's what I've seen here as a common theme that people, because they aren't as relaxed as people in other cities, they're not the nicest people. And that starts to rub off on me. So what I'm saying is the personality traits, my personality has changed for the worse in that I'm not as nice of a person as I was before I moved here, I don't think. And that is super unfortunate because I think I'm overall a pretty nice guy. I was always polite to adults growing up. I don't think I have any enemies or people that don't like me. If I do, I don't know what the reason is, but I feel like I just have random like spouts of 
anger, of being pissed off, of being stressed, like being anxious out of nowhere. And God knows for what reason that might be because I just said there's 20 different reasons here that piss people off. So because of that, sometimes I'll act pissed at Skylar for no reason. You know, she's the one who lives with me. She's around me the most nowadays out of anyone else I know. So sometimes I'll act mad at her for no reason, which is super dumb because I love her. Sometimes I will flick off drivers or drop an F-bomb at them while I'm driving on the highway. And I do that multiple times per day. That's how bad the drivers are here. Sometimes I'll act like an asshole to the waitress at the restaurant or someone at the cash register at the grocery store. You know, these are examples where I just act like an asshole sometimes. And I think I do that nowadays more so than I did before I moved here. So that is one side effect of living here. I think, and I watched a couple other YouTubers around Atlanta. I don't think anyone has explicitly come out and said that, but it's true, dude. A lot of people here aren't happy. A lot of people here are assholes. A lot of people here are mad or stressed or anxious. Sometimes they can control it, sometimes they cannot. But that is the reality, and unfortunately, it is rubbed off on me. Yeah. Yeah. We on the way, we came to play. Dude, I'm almost at 200 vlogs. Can you believe that? 200 vlogs. I'm, I'm gonna hit that pretty soon. Start my channel in March of 2020 and drop the vlog every single Monday since then for over the last three years. Is it just me or has 2023 been absolute fastest year of all time? Dude, it just went by that. I mean, next week is Halloween weekend. That's wild. This year is literally about to be over and we're gonna enter 2024. That's crazy. But next week, Halloween weekend, I think we're gonna find something to do. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed another video today as much as I did making it. If you did, make sure you drop me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't wanna miss. See you next Monday.